Today's been a really good day. I, I get to cast with you, my good bud. We're out here. We're out here. <laughs> Already getting into it. Okay, so we got yeah, Ash we're... versus Sweet Lou. Ash, very, very good uh, online Pikachu versus Sweet Lou. I believe Tri State Zelda player? Or yeah, I, I know they frequent a lot of Tri State streams. Tri State Zelda player. Um, I'm not sure Jersey or New York. One of the two. But definitely, definitely plays a lot of Zelda. Jersey player. And definitely attend, attends house every week and plays Zelda and Aegis. Mm -hmm. So this matchup, I feel like if you're playing the campy game, uh, Zelda can, you know, do what she wants. Thunder Jolt isn't nearly quick enough. I feel like of a projectile to kind of stuff out. Right? But once Pika's in, the damage the damage racks up pretty quickly. Oh, that was a really yeah. good uh, neutral B right there to completely stuff the uh, aerial approach from Ash right there. Yeah, no, it definitely is. You, neutral B like has a bit of invincibility at the start of it, so some a lot of Zelda's just like to do it to like just beat out moves. All right, yeah, we're just we're just seeing some good some good old fashioned nooch here. We yeah. got uh, oh. both the teach ult. The thing Yo. is, like, what do you do if uh, if you're in this position and you're at a deficit? Like, you have to approach at some point because if, if Ash yeah. isn't going to commit, like, Sweet Lou's got to make the first move, and Zelda's not really a character who who approaches typically. Yeah, so she's most content when she can keep you at that mid range or just keep you at bay with that knight. So I think the oh man the run up cross green grab. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like it's I think Sweet Lou's mind is like just hope that they Ash just gives in and makes the mistake. She's not budging though yeah, at all. If you don't if you don't budge, some someone's gonna get bored. Yeah, the thing is peak like T Jolt is such a great projectile, uh like just in essence, and so P like most characters have to play at the pace of Zelda because a lot of them have to respect Knight. But I feel like Pika's not one of those characters. Like, you, if you have a lead, you can keep shooting those T-Jolts off. You don't have to respect Knight. Pika's also quick enough and small enough to where he can get himself out of harm's way uh, before the Knight is even a factor. And even, even Quick Attack! Yeah. Even quick Attack goes through that. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I think that was the dead spot of Knight. It, yeah, yeah. it does have, like, a minor dead spot. That's crazy. But still, like, this is the part where, oh, Ooh. okay, you know, evened it up. But like when you're stuck down, that's when you actually have to make the initiative. I feel like during percents, you can play your game. Oh, uh, <laughs> you can play. You can play the brawl game. This is return to subspace for a reason. Thing. <laughs> they both just said sit and shield next to each other. I saw a great post today where I remember back in Smash Four where we'd run up to each other and both shield and yeah. look at the stars for hours. <laughs> that's what they just. It's Milo had every opportunity to grab right there, but I think she was just nervous for whatever out of shield option. Uh, Ash was going to dispense if yeah. she did drop shield. He, oh, they just ran you know, to, oh, to yeah. the side of each other and as smash. <laughs> <laughs> These guys were meant for each other. <laughs> Sometimes both players shared the same brain cell. It's actually crazy. It's, pre it's preoccupied, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Ash still firm and resolved. The, the good part about T Jolt is that Pika can do it while mobile. Zelda's kind of locked down to one place when she, she doesn't really have like good aerial drift while she throws it out. Yeah. Um, and therefore, like, she can also, she ne also needs that time to set it up too. So if you get like a preemptive T Jolt out, you can pick her off and do damage and just completely disable the knight before it's able to get out. Yeah, no, that definitely can be a problem for Zelda, especially with her buttons not being all so quick. Oh boy. And Ash, Ash still just keeping this full stage. Like, he has this lead that he's clinging on to, and, and Sweet Lou's not really mixing up her gameplay enough to where Ash has to be worried about, like, a swing in the game. Oh, that yeah. was really risky, though. Good thing Pika's so small, though. Not yeah. going to get hit. And as I, and as I told you before, Ash just seems to be just budge. He was not settling to camp the entire time, trying to be aggressive. Yeah. So if Sweet Lou can catch the aggressive option, I don't know if that's not right there. But... If she's able to catch the aggressive option, then she okay, can just do quick damage. work. Okay, good string of up airs right there. Could have followed it even further, striking the landing right there. Yeah, Ash doing mm -hmm. such a good job of catching Zelda's landings. That's one of the struggles Zelda has. The only mix-up she really has is that 50-50 of her mixing up landing with neutral B. Most of the time, she's going to be kind of a sitting duck for a character as mobile and uh, with as active as hitbo uh, of hitboxes as Pikachu is. Yeah, Pikachu has the entire, like, Course, running for him. He's got everything. He's a, he's a buffet, literally. He, he just has all your favorite stuff. Like, all he needs is a disjoint. <laughs> for real. 
<laughs> oh, eight quick attack, actually. There's a, there's a reason people, I don't think up throw will kill just yet. And I no. think Sweet lose cognizant of that. Okay, though, stuffing it out. Yeah, Ash doing such a good job of just staying mobile, not staying locked down. Zelda wants you to be completely locked down. The T jolt yeah. training, so that didn't work. So unfortunate for Sweet Lou right there. It saved her life. <laughs> I like these mix-ups on the recoveries, too. Sometimes Ash will go to ledge or overshoot the ledge to not let uh, Sweet Lou get, like, a firm read. Gotta be careful when going high. Uh, Din's fire is really quick, and it can angle up uh, pretty quickly. Oh, that, I was expecting an up beyond the shield, but they punished punish from Sweet Lou. And an up smash right there to seal the deal. Just like the first dog. So I think, I think already we're noticing some things about both of these players. It's just that I feel like Ash is willing to bend a little bit more like he has a game plan going in which is you know use t jolt to safely open up neutral for pikachu because pikachu is light if, you know pikachu is probably gonna die earlier than zelda most of the time um but he's also proving to be flexible in that he's going to approach when he knows he can get a punish i feel like sweet lou is committing to that defensive play style but she's not willing to bend and when she is it's going for like a very very uh ill-intended read most yeah. of the time, I feel like. Like, some of these uh, Ferrores wins and uppies that she was throwing out uh, got her killed a lot of the time. Like, I feel like she yeah. she has to react a little bit better to what Ash is doing uh, or set up, like, better walls of defense instead of just kind of taking a gamble. Yeah, she, like, her aggressive options, um, she did, like, a lot of unsafe ones. Mm -hmm. Those are, like, good in mix-up situations. Yeah. But... It's not all the time situation. That's why it's called a mix up. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta provide That's something true. else. <laughs> you spin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see right there, especially yeah. like she was totally across the stage and like one night would have killed right there, but it says she just kinda just uh hung herself by just Yeah up being right in there. And Sweet so. Lou has also been operating on just doing the full night instead of like just doing the partial ones. So you can do like half night. That's true, like, yeah, you can he doesn't have to be built. He doesn't yeah. have to be built. He can be built different yeah. sometimes. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally built different. <laughs> it's got a few gym days. <laughs> he's, not, he's not whole. He's not He's not completely feeling himself, but he's still yeah. able to attack. Just, just doing minor work. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, you just need me to move that box from here to there? All right. Oh, boy. So yeah, what? that was a really good game one for Ash right there. I feel like Ash played as page like against Zelda. Like you have to respect Knight. I'd say that's the main thing you have to yeah. respect and uh, look out also for like those mix-ups with Neutral B. Sweet Lou at certain points was committing very heavily to Neutral B. Like she was just throwing it out, like trying to bait. Yeah. She was also she was like really trying to get like a reaction out of Ash with like those taunts. Like she, just the, she those, did the those, tea those, bag. I support yeah, she the did tea all, bag. She did everything. I support this. This this is stuff I I would do in bracket. <laughs> this is like this is like the the parent that's like screaming really loud at the other the other kid's team in high school. <laughs> he's just he's just trying to take that foul shot. The parents going, "Dude, you suck! You're gonna miss! You're gonna miss!" And the kid's like, "Oh my god, algebra!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, got enough to deal with in my algebra two trig class, man. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> Why is this parent yelling at me? <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> what stage do you think we're going to go to? Um, they, they, they're, they're taking a bit. For P I don't know. P Pika can, like, play on, like, any stage. Like, yeah. But it, at this point, it's, like, a stage you're comfortable with. I'd so say Triplats for Zelda, maybe. Zelda likes Triplats, I feel like. Especially, like, Battlefield. I feel like that's a... That's a co and yeah. Sm oh, Smashville. Smashville is easily Zelda's best stage. Like, you every Zelda so? main I talk... Yeah, every Zelda main I talk to, like, loves... Uh, Man. Smashville. Just because Knight encompasses so much of the stage. Yeah. It, it's, it's able to cover so much. Take me to Smashville. <laughs> 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 I feel like every Zelda t player takes me to Smashville. <laughs> they never take me to Smashville. They're the only like, players yo. that want to take me to Smashville. <laughs> They're like, yo... Uh, Battlefield, yeah, Battlefield. <laughs> Either Battlefield or, yeah, Battlefield Kalos. usually. Because she can shark with up air pretty well on Battlefield. I don't yeah. see Kalos too much. That's interesting. That's interesting. I, I think she does like FDs, like Kalos and, and Yeah, I would imagine FDs, she's so. really good with there. But then yeah. again, she's also good at sharking platforms. Yeah, she, she, did get the, she did get her first kill um with that up air. Yeah, it's true. The jump. Good jump read. And she needs to pick up on more of those habits, too, I feel like. Because a Ash was doing ledge hop quite a bit. Full yeah. ledge hop. Just to avoid Knight entirely, because it's your best bet. 
uh, to avoid knight when you can't hang on the ledge, which not usually because knight can hit below ledge. In the nice slow mo from Devin yeah, right here. Look at, look at this! Look yeah, at this! Yeah, that was that yeah. was rough. I think she was literally just trying to escape there, but uh, yeah, I think it can that, keep but, up. but that's not a good escape option because if the character is like fast enough, they can just reach there, and there's a lot of and lag on her up. Yeah, again, catching the jump. But you were wrong. Someone did notice my my new camera angle. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> Uble just oh, put no. different fang background. I dig it. You're wrong, Reggie. No. <laughs> before the those stream, are, those are everyone, all before the stream, I was like, I can't wait for people to see my new ring light camera setup because I just got a ring light setup. And Reggie goes, I can't wait for literally nobody to notice it. <laughs> <laughs> Loki just about to like, move my white thing to the side. Nobody would notice why I've changed. I also, I also kind of made my bed. Kind of. Not no, that, really. That, that's, really. I, I literally see like the comfort <laughs> off one side. Yo, Reggie, you want to know what I had for the first time yesterday? Uh, I had Mr. Beast Burger for the first time really? yesterday. Yes, actually really it was good. actually bussing. It's actually really God, good. If you have a Mr. Beast Burger near you, consider getting it. Like the the I got the Mr. Beast style burger, and I also got like a chicken sandwich. It's probably the best chicken sandwich I've had in like forever. Want to go next one? So good. <laughs> anyway, game okay. two, we have the Aegis. The, the power of the Aegis. The power of the Aegis. The power of, as, as Devin put it before, the power of, of myself. Yeah. Because that's literally what they say. They're just like, this is the power of the Aegis. You can just say, this is my power, bro. You, you don't nah. have to call yourself the Aegis. You need to know the Aegis. <laughs> <laughs> How would I, the viewer, not know? <laughs> <laughs> so we did end up going to Smashville, but uh, we got to switch to Pyra and Mithra. And I think this is... A good pick. Pyramithra, just a more solid character than Zelda yeah. overall. But I feel like what's important is that Mithra can keep up uh, kind of in spades with uh, Pikachu in terms of her speed. And uh, she's like a frame six grab, so that's pretty quick. Yeah, no, that's uh, actually the fastest grab. You can yeah. Have. Ooh, but the aerial drift right into the full on F smash. That was crazy. Should live. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my, snap. she dropped shield right there. <laughs> So right here, if I were if I were Sweet Lou, I feel like a switch to Pyro would be okay because apparently Pyro's a little bit heavier than Mithra. Yeah, uh, Pyro so is a little Mario's bit weight. Ooh, this is gonna be stuck though. Oh yeah. wait! Oh no. my god, that was almost tragic yeah. for Ash right there, not teching it. I feel like a lot of people don't know to tech that. It's really scary. Uh, charge it for too long. And yeah. yeah, that's only minus six, by the way. That's so crazy. Not you can't really punish that. That's another good move too. Sometimes you can tell just inherently which moves are like DLC moves. Like that, those those two moves right there, are like beautiful DLC moves. Ooh, this is tough though. You do not want to be Pyra at a low percent against Pikachu. It's just not good. Like you have to commit to either an air dodge or like a very late up. Be good switch though, and yeah. and snaps the ledge. Really good switch right there. Yeah, they were just a bit below. I thought they were not going to get that. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I, I'm not agreeing with these uppies though. I, f I feel like Sweet Lou has had the problem this set of overcommitting quite a bit. She's going for these like really high risk, low reward punishes, like, uh, or rather high risk, high reward. Like at most she'll get a kill like she just did right there, but at worst it's gonna leave her extremely vulnerable to getting hit or even killed herself if, yeah. she is, if she's using those moves like a little too late. I feel like she has to play a little bit more reactionary, try to use her normals to tack on that damage before making that big commitment because Pikachu doesn't really have a lot of margin for, for error. Like, you really don't see Pikas, like, screw up in terms of, uh, like, leaving themselves in a very, very compromising position. So you got to play like uh, your life depends on it. Uh, yeah, no, so. I, I agree with that. And you also barely see, other than, like, that instance right there, Ash has been only going towards ledge from off stage. Oh, yeah. So, like, she was doing those upbeats on stage, mm -hmm. and Ash was never going to go there. Yeah, it's true. For the most part. A Ash is just... I feel like very, very good at waiting for Sweet Lou to swing first, then committing uh, a little bit after that, just this entire time. We're seeing it. These whiff punishes are fantastic. Like, Ash is doing a great job recovering as well. They're nailing all of their confirms as well. That drag down there was beautiful. Yeah. Everything's looking good. This, is look this game looks almost in the bag. Oh, the <laughs> Apiata hits. <done. laughs> we ball. <laughs> That's the effort. We ball. <laughs> okay, back to Mithra. And I love. Oh, I was gonna say no. no. Ash wasn't taking any chances off stage until he knew he was able to get it. I did not think that Pika would be able to do that. But yeah, you do have a little bit of stall after that upbeat before the snap to ledge comes, and Ash read that perfectly. Like, 
Really, really good stuff by Ash. Ash super solid player right there. Yeah. Just solid Pika play in general. What what uh nuggets of wisdom would you leave for Sweet Lou for someone who's looking to build off of this loss and continue on in the bracket? Because this is only winners. Yeah. If anything, tech that. But <laughs> <laughs> But the big thing is 